Okay, so I'll give a quick instruction how I did that. It's uh, using the Jessica Friedrich method. <clears throat> Friedrich, I don't know how to pronounce it. You can look that up yourself. Okay, <clears throat> so first you start by getting across. So I usually like to use yellow. You see right here. So let's get the yellow pieces and if you're a beginner you probably won't get this but if you've been doing this a while you'll probably know how to do this okay so if you ever see those guys in a competition there's other methods of, of doing it there's like a Petrus method or this Friedrich method or like ZBL or something like that but the difference between what makes it faster is knowing more algorithms that make it quicker. If you buy the Rubik's Cube um, from a store, it gives you instructions, maybe about 10 patterns or algorithms, but the more you know, the faster it is. I know about 70 of them. Okay, so let's start to have across, and first thing you do is you find two pieces that go into here. Like for instance, usually they're at the top, but sometimes they can be right there. So if you see the colors here, I'm going to put blue and red into here. Um, technically you could know blue, red, and yellow goes here because of the three centers. And blue and red goes here because of these two. But I'm going to put it in using one pattern. And it should be like this. One, two, three, four. So it goes in there. <clears throat> Next, you can usually find two pieces at the top. Let's see. Yellow, orange, green, orange, green. Put it above yellow, orange, green. Yellow, orange, green right here. These three and you can do another pattern and it should go in there like that See. <clears throat> next here's the yellow orange blue a uh, little and here's the orange blue and here so this is just another pattern it goes right in there you can see it and then you put one more in here here's yellow green and red and then yellow or red and green right here Right here, these two. So they're right here and here. So I'll just do the pattern, and it'll it'll go in like that. Okay, so <clears throat> that, that's called F2L, the first two layers. And then the next point is to get the uh, top all white. These the around here. So basically, you can look at the cube, and the first two layers are done. So when you're doing these patterns, you do a pattern, and the cube will remain the same. And when you do another pattern, it doesn't touch the rest of the cube and only touches the two that you want it to. So that's how you do the cube without messing it up if you're just starting out. Okay, so next year, there's a pattern actually to make this all white. And I mean, I'm, I can go to a website on my computer here where I learned this. And it's actually, I'll give this guy a nice shout out because shout out his website's pretty good. It's a Lars Vanderberg's Cube Zone. www.cubezone.be. Okay, so you can go to that website. <clears throat> but uh, you can see here, like these websites, they give you patterns and things to memorize. So that's how you learn the algorithms. But okay, so to make this all white, you can do. There's actually one pattern. I don't know them. There's about to be 50 or so. What I do is I just. I'll get a cross up top like this, see. Once I have a cross up top, I actually know how to fix this, so. Okay, so there's your cross. Or right, there's your uh, top. So the last part is to just fill in the last layers here. There's about, these are actually, I got to fill in the last layer, but fill in the side. See, this is done. The bottom is done. But now you have to fix the colors around here to make it a... Uh, make it fixed to finish it. Now you can see from this website this is actually the page of the 21. There's like 21 of them. Okay. <clears throat> so if you go to this website it will it'll explain it better. But I actually don't know this pattern so I'm just going to switch to a pattern I recognize. Like for instance here's one of the patterns, right? Here's blue and red. This is good but these two and these two have to switch places. If I go like this, I messed up. 
But anyway, <laughs> like look at this. This orange needs to go over here. This blue needs to go over here. This green needs to go over here. So the pattern for that is like this. It should be fixed. <clears throat> so to briefly sum that up again, oops, sometimes it'll pop. <laughs> That means you need more lube or you should uh, tighten up your cube. You'll notice that this one's pretty fast. Uh, you, you don't buy this one in stores. You actually go to uh, another website. You just go to, I think it's rubix.com. Let me see here. It's like, well, his cube moves so much faster than mine. Mine is like there's freaking glue in it. Well, this is how you get a fast one. You go to uh, this Rubik's website here. Then you can click on uh, Puzzle Finder and I think it's information right here. And then you can go to, usually there's a store. Okay, go click on Shop up here. And then, oh, I only got a minute left of video so I better hurry this up. When you click on Shop, you can buy these right here. They're called Rubik 3x3 Assembly Cube. And you can see it right there. They're about 12 bucks, or oh, nine, only nine for this one. You should buy 10 of them, right? And those are the ones you buy to make it really fast. Okay, so let me briefly explain this again. First step, get across. So you have to look at these patterns online. Uh, the one, the one website I gave you is pretty good. There's another one. If I have time, I'll get to it. So now I got my cross. I'm gonna fill in orange and blue. So fill in the four slots, each is a two, two by one slot, and then fill in this one. And then I'm going to fill in like what, orange and green into here. I'll back up from the camera. It's on the right, it's over here. And then fill in this one into here, these two. Remember, next, make the top all white. This is silver now because the other cube, but you'll see in a second what happened to it. And then, next we fix all the corners. Okay, so not going to have the corners, but we fix all the, the last edges here. So I'll do the pattern here. I should finish it. So cross, slot, 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 slot. Make the top all one color. Fix it around. You get really good, you can do it in, after you get the cross, you can do one pattern, two, three, four, five, and six. Six patterns. Okay, so, in order to learn the first two layers or fill in those slots, this is a good website here. John Rubik page, N-A-S-C-A-R-J-O-N dot U-S. You can go to these algorithms part right here, and then you can get right here first two layers. And this will actually tell you how to move all those pieces around. Okay. Lastly, another thing that makes a cube faster is lubrication. You can use one of these wrench liquid silicon spray. You take apart your cube, which I did to the other one in the video, and you can take each side and spray it. And you turn them, spray it, turn it again and spray it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.